Hello and welcome to another Bespoke Guardians Win and Wildcats feature interview with another new-ish face to the to the world of the Wildcats. Uh, a summer arrival from Peterborough, obviously Glenn Billy and Glenn. Thank you for joining us. Uh, how are you? How's summer? Thank you for having me. No, yeah, it's 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 been good. As I was saying um, before we started this, I've enjoyed it, but um, definitely raring to get back at it now. So um, preparations definitely started, and excited for the season. And are preparations different for you this year, obviously moving down from Peterborough, or is it a case of you know your routine for the summer and it doesn't matter where you're playing or who you're going to be playing with, you, you know what you've got to do to get ready for the season? Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say it's changed a bit at all. Um, I've done, prepared for a few seasons now, um, so I'm sort of, you're still figuring out every summer what works, you know, it's good to try different things, but um, I definitely think I've got a decent strategy and uh, we'll try and be as ready as we can be to to start in September. And take us back to kind of early on in the summer. How how did the move back to Swindon come around? Yeah, so like I said, I've I've been to in Peterborough for a, quite a long time now, and um, you know, with things going on at home and um, stuff going on with work, it was just the commuting was not going to be possible. And I made that decision that I wouldn't be returning to Peterborough. And um, as soon as Stephen Aaron got in touch, it was. Um, a no-brainer really with you know the great organization that they have here at Swindon and it's, it's also so close to where I live um it was an easy decision for me so um yeah I'm really excited you know Swindon always have a good team that's they're always competing for stuff so it's somewhere that, that I want to be and um I was very thankful that, that they came calling and gave me the opportunity and just look on last year a little bit obviously you guys uh you know you you, was, you had success you, you won that trophy last year what was that was that season like for you and Peterborough personally and, and as a team yeah I mean, it was good it was it was nice to be the only team that managed to beat Leeds to a trophy um but um didn't finish the way we wanted it so um we wanted to build off that that success that we had in the cup and take that into the playoffs and I feel like everyone was chasing Leeds a bit and you know, the consistency they showed was, well, unreal, unrealistic, really. So um, I think everyone was chasing them a bit. And, um, you know, it was, like I said, it was good to take that trophy off them, but um, it didn't finish where we wanted. But oh. where it goes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, personally, though, you had a you know, had a really good season, you know, nearly 80-point year. You must have been happy with your performances last year. Uh, I mean, uh, at the time when the season ended, I wasn't because you don't really reflect on that until sort of halfway through the summer, you know, I'd, I'd always much rather team success than, than my own, but um, yeah, definitely like Slava gave me a lot of ice time and opportunity there to grow my game offensively. And um, I feel like each year I'm, I am trying to get better in that department. And coming over to Swindon, you talked just now about the, uh, the kind of roster that Aaron's put together. Some obviously the, the signings he's announced so far this summer, you must be happy to be playing alongside those guys. Absolutely. I mean, you know, swimming the horse, they always have a good team, but um, I feel like this year Aaron's only added to that. And um, I feel we'll have a, a very great depth as well. And um, that would be a real strength of ours. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting team. I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of it. And um, like I said, can't wait to get going and play with the guys that I don't enjoy facing. So, <laughs> anyone in particular that, that stands out on that list? Oh, I don't know. Like physically, you just have to go out there with Plusy and you know, um, Big Gale that we've signed. You know, it's, it's you always um, keep your head on a swivel, put it that way. When they're on your ice, they're definitely a physical presence. But no, like Swindon have had so many great players like Aaron Thomas, you know, Jones, Big Eddie. Um, they're just the names that come to mind. And um, even Tower last year, I thought was really, really fast, really high skilled. So um, yeah, happy to be on the same side as them this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, this isn't your first uh, experience in a Wildcat shirt. Let's throw you back to that debut uh, against Invicta, I think it was. Was it four goals that night or was it just the three? Yeah, I mean, you have to you have to take that with a pinch of salt. I think, like, you know, it was a crossover cup competition, which was great for us young guys. You know, we got the opportunity to experience hockey at that level. Thank, thank you um, to the Wildcats. And I was aligned with Hoogie and Aaron and as a 16 year old, you know, just stand at the back door and tap them in. So, um, yeah, it was a great night. It was a great, it was a great feeling as, as a young kid to obviously get first senior goals. But I'll tell you what, they made me look very good that night and they made it pretty easy for me. So, um, hopefully I've come a long way since then, but I definitely learned a lot, um, with my experiences when I was so young with the Wildcats. 
Yeah, and obviously, you know, your your time at Okanagan, there was some really good players coming through that academy. You must look back on that with some really fond memories. Absolutely. You know, they were some of the best years of my life and I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to do it. And um, we had so many talented players. Um, it was great and just had the chance to train every day, twice a day, you know, once on the ice, once off the ice. It did heaps and bounds for, for my game. And um, like I said, just really grateful to have those memories and um, to have the opportunity to do that. And it wasn't just obviously that that game you played, uh, you know, in Swindon. You played uh, for Milton Keynes, obviously, as well as Peterborough. You know what the the Link Centre is like on a Saturday night. Uh, you must be excited for that to be on on your side of things rather than against us. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it was always it's always a tough place to go in and get a win. Um, Swindon are usually really good at home, so um, I look forward to hopefully a few a few wins at home. Um, the place is always rocking, and um, those bright lights. It's um, it'll be fun to be on the home team for sure. And I guess the uh, the aims this year is to 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 get some silverware. Absolutely, you know that that's always the goal. Um, but I truly believe with the team that Aaron's built that you know we're definitely up there and we should be fighting for every trophy we can be. So um, that's definitely definitely the goals, and I'll do anything to help the boys um, get to that. I think it probably doesn't need me to to ask you this question, but I think most of our fans have seen you play. But for people out there that may not have, what kind of what kind of skills are you going to bring to the lineup this year? Good question. Now, um, you know, I, I, I tried to bring a two-way game, um, you know, being defensively responsible, but also trying to contribute offensively as well. Um, and I think we, I said when we caught up when I first signed is that, you know, that coming to Swindon, that's definitely something I think that Aaron can help me with. You know, you only have to look at his pedigree with the amount of points and goals and um, his offensive side of the game. But people don't realise as well is he, he can play in both ends and um, definitely looking forward to learning a lot from him and, my game is sort of similar. So like I said, I'd like to be defensively responsible, but contribute going forward when I can. But overall, just doing whatever I can to help the team win, essentially. Len, I know how excited the fans are to see you on the ice in September. And I know how excited you probably are to get back on that ice pad as well. So thank you so much uh, for taking the time to chat to us and we'll speak to you soon. Very welcome and look forward to seeing you all soon. Mm-hmm.